All right. Hello, everybody. Thank you for sticking around. The next thing that we want to do is like uh, celebrate the winners of the CTF that was going on during the conference. Um, probably many of you have noticed the like kind of long table next to the admins where the strange people were sitting around and doing something with computers. Nobody really knew what they did. Um, there was us. We were uh, doing the administration of the CTF, answering questions, whatever came up. And um, let's go to some facts about the CTF. So first of all, let's talk a bit about the participation. So we had over a thousand teams this time, which is a new record for us, I think, which is a four-digit number. We're really hyped about that. It's very cool. Um, we had verified local teams playing here, maybe some who didn't really come to our uh, desk and show themselves as a local team, but um, 14 people uh, came and verified their team. Um, we had actually 303 teams of the over 1,000 who were able to solve some challenges. Some probably just looked into them or like uh, to watch the, uh, the change descriptions which were not available uh, if you were not registered. Maybe a little trick to get up the, the registration count. Um, okay, also near, nearly 1,000 uh, flags were captured, which is also really great. Let's uh, some, get some uh, stats on the network traffic. It's like 17 gigabytes inbound traffic, 142 gigabytes of outbound traffic over 48 hours, which kind of translates to thank you for not dosing us, which was really nice, only actually participating and uh, not killing our infrastructure. Okay, let's get to the winners. First, of course, we want to celebrate the local teams who are also eligible for the prizes. And it would be very cool if you could come up to the stage. The third place is Polly Pocket. Come up. We have different very awesome prizes. Um, we had the teams choose beforehand, so everybody gets uh, what they really liked before. It's, uh, oh. like different classes. It's like three, um, three identical prices of, uh, pineapples to, uh, do some network penetration. And then also some, uh, um, wireless, uh, related stuff. And then afterwards some, uh, hardware. Okay. Right. Congrats. Um, let's get to the second place. That's CyberPick Security. Please come up. Thank you for participating. And for the local teams, finally, the first place, it's BIOS. Come up. Great job. Okay, there were also a lot of more teams um, joining us from all over the world. Uh, so we want to get to the to the global finalists who are not present here, of course, but we, whom we want to mention. So those are Recapic, which is a Chinese team. They solved a lot of challenges. It was like five challenges up for most of the teams that they could still solve. So we are... Um, pretty happy about this uh, kind of result that everybody could still like choose from a big range of um, challenges and keep the competition like running to just the last second as you will see with the next uh, point value which was the same point value Dragon Sector from Poland who took second place and then finally also a head-to-head -head race which was uh, Triple E from China also they won so very nice work by them okay <laughs> um, one thing that uh, you can note is that we, the challenges are going to stay up. They are also what has uh, become kind of a tradition is that a lot of write-ups are also published. So if you're interested in what actually went on in the CTF and 
um, maybe not you didn't solve it or looked at it at the CTF and were kind of uh, like lost in it maybe you can typically find a lot of uh, stuff about the challenge and how other people solved it so it's a very cool resource to learn from they will also stay up you can also try the stuff yourself afterwards we're also going to stay at the booth over there if you have any questions feel free to just come up and uh, ask us or just say hello and thank you all